Hello and welcome to Thought for August the 9th. Our readings are 1 Kings chapter 3, Jeremiah chapter 30 and Mark chapter 4. And our thought is, in the latter days you will understand. Our chapter 30 in Jeremiah is intriguing. The last verse challenges our thinking. The fierce anger of the Lord will not turn back until he has executed and accomplished the intentions of his mind. In the latter days, you will understand this. In the chapter's opening verses, Jeremiah is told, Thus says the Lord, write in a book, Behold, the days are coming when I will restore the fortunes of my people. I will bring them back to the land that I gave to their fathers. Verses 2 and 3. The verses in between challenge our understanding. We wish some of them were at least a little clearer, but many are quite plain. Israel is told, Because your guilt is great, because your sins are flagrant, I have done these things to you. Verse 15. Their ungodly ways were flagrant in the days of Jeremiah, as they were also in the days of Jesus. Then the prophet's vision changes. All who pray on you, I will make a prey, for I will restore health to you, and your wounds I will heal, declares the Lord. Because they have called you an outcast, it is Zion for whom no one cares, verses 16 and 17, and ultimately, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God, verse 22. However, notice the indications that the climax will be traumatic. Alas, that day is so great, there is none like it. It is a time of distress for Jacob, yet he shall be saved out of it. Verse 7. Are we about to see this happen now? Only then does the fierce anger of the Lord turn back. Verse 31. All this and more is remarkable in revealing the intentions of his mind that will be understood in the latter days by those who diligently read God's word. But we must never miss the personal nature of the teaching of the Lord Jesus. Yes, it is personal to each of us, far more than these prophecies are, imploring us to enter into and maintain a personal relationship with him. And as a result, when the storm of the Lord will burst upon the head of the wicked, as we read in verse 23, those who do his just commands, seek righteousness, may be hidden on the day of the anger of the Lord, as Zephaniah 2 verse 3 tells us. It is of no value to understand events in these latter days unless it has changed us personally so that we are responding to the call Who is on the Lord's side? Come to me. Exodus 32 verse 26. This is a cry that has been made to every generation since Moses originally uttered these words. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.